Um, okay, welcome and thank you uh, for, uh, for your time and your attention. Uh, what I'm going to show you very quickly is a few uh, tips that I would use in terms of trying to find a job using social media. Um, one of the biggest things that social media can actually do is it can actually kill your chances of finding a job. A few years ago, some clever guy came out with one of these, right? He's now put a camera in everybody's pocket and a video in everybody's pocket. Now, you can kill your chances of getting a job if one of these gets point at you and you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, right? Whatever that may be, getting drunk, using drugs, whatever you like, takes a picture, takes some video. Leslie's taking a photo of me now and she's going to tag me, <laughs> right? And I'm doing something, something uh, respectable. I'm talking to a bunch of nice people <laughs> for, for a change. But well, when it gets really interesting is when you go to the images, okay? And now we start seeing pictures of drunken Perth people. Now, imagine that this is you somewhere, right? Don't look too hard, because it might be. Um, but then that image gets um, posted onto social media. It get, you get tagged into the photo, and you don't even know you're being tagged into the photo. And then that sits on somebody's Facebook page for from now until the year dot, OK? So that's where social media is your enemy. Okay, so you really do need to be careful about that. If you've got stuff that's like that, that you know exists, um, track it down before you start applying for lots of jobs and then wonder why you're not getting interviews and stuff like that because recruiters will use the social media to find you and they'll put in your name into Google. And then they'll do, and they'll search through the articles or whatever it is that relates to you and hopefully you don't have a name of someone that's famous for doing something really dodgy, because that might come up first. Um, but then they're going to go and they're going to start looking at images. Now, I know that they're going to do this, because my kids that are um, quite a bit younger than anybody else in the room already know how to do this. Okay, so what they're going to do is they're going to go through and they're going to start looking at the pictures of you. Now. There's a picture in here somewhere <laughs> of me, this one, down here, right up here, okay? My kids ask me, who's that girl, Daddy? Right? So, if someone under 10 can do that, right, what is someone that's got a HR degree, is being paid 50, 60, 80, $200,000 a year, whatever they're being paid, can do this too. Okay, so this is really important. You really must get a handle on what's out there about you. You've got your profile sorted and you've got a nice picture and all the rest of it. What you then want to do is you want to go looking for places where you can find the jobs that you're looking for. Now obviously, quite clearly, you can see that there is a job section and you can use that like a search engine. So you just put find a job and then you search according to, to the, what sort of jobs that you think might, might, you might be suitable for. But another way of finding suitable jobs is to actually go looking for groups that relate to what you're looking for. Okay, so on LinkedIn there's a groups, direct, groups directory and there's only about two or three hundred thousand groups on LinkedIn, there's probably more. Um, but you can actually search, so within, say I said I want mining, if I can spell. Okay, so um, there's a couple of, and they, there's a couple of groups that I'm already in, uh, but this is this is one that's been set up by a particular company, and so they've got West Australian Mining Careers as a group. So you're looking for job opportunities is a good idea to to join that group, and there's a million other mining. Group. So you can look in Mining Australia and all of that sort of thing. Now the reason you join that group is not only to find the jobs but also to make the connections. 
the people that are in that group, there's a good chance they're already in the mining sector. So they, they might be the people that, that help you find that, that right job. Um, also, uh, there are most companies now um, are getting around to actually creating a LinkedIn profile for the company itself. So you can actually go and search the company. So within that company, you'll find that there's a profile about Rio Tinto, and it might be a different, different variations of Rio Tinto. So you obviously want to make sure you're finding the right one. Um, so you want Perth. Um, but just for an example, we'll go to that one. And what you can see on there is um, more information about the company, so it helps your research about the, and understanding the, the organisation. You also will find people that are interested in that company, so they're already following that company as well. So they're going to have a reason why they're following that company. They're either looking for a job, they've either worked for them, they, or currently work for them. So you actually might find the recruiting manager for Rio Tinto in the following, following that, their own company. The person that's running this site for Rio Tinto might monitor the people that are following the company on a regular basis to see if there are any actually employees in there. Um, the company can also put in uh, jobs. So you can actually find jobs at Rio Tinto because they've already put them there. Okay, so they're making it really easy for you. Okay, so they're already advertising their jobs. They've got information about what a career is like at Rio Tinto, jobs you might be interested in, and they're sitting there waiting for you. Okay, so um, LinkedIn is making it really easy for you. And there's a whole bunch more I could show you, but I'm conscious of time. So um, obviously, Facebook is the same in terms of there are job opportunities in Facebook. Um, do be mindful of who you follow when it comes to Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and, and those sorts of things. Um, you want your network to be strong and you want your network to be supportive of you and actually helping you find a career. You don't want um, elements in your profiles, wherever they may be, whether they're, they're close friends or, or even long distance acquaintances, that potentially can ruin your opportunity. So um, use social media wisely, uh, but there are a whole bunch of tools available to help you uh, get the right job. Thanks.